Welcome back. And we get you some breaking news at this point in time where the ED raids are on at the premises linked to the TN minister. This is the Tamil Nadu minister at whose premises the raids are being carried out by the Enforcement Directorate. They are all a Tamil Nadu minister whose uh, residences and offices are being raided by the Enforcement Directorate. The ED searches are on at Tamil Nadu minister's residence. The ED raids are linked to the alleged job scam is what we are given to understand. That is the big breaking news that we are getting you. And as we speak, these raids are underway and my colleague Dharani is getting us all the details. Well, Dharani, good morning. Take us through these uh, raids that are being carried out by the Enforcement Directorate at the houses, the premises of the several TA, uh, Tamil Nadu ministers. Uh, enforcement directorate is uh, holding uh, rights uh, in Chennai and Coimbatore in locations related to uh, Tamil Nadu's electricity minister, Sendil Balaji. Uh, so this was in, uh, you know, uh, this is in relation to a cash for job scam that unfolded, uh, uh, you know, uh, when Sendil Balaji was holding the portfolio of transport ministry uh, in the previous ADMK regime. So uh, Sendil Balaji joined DMK in 2018. Before that, he used to be in ADMK and he was a transport minister in uh, and the 2011 to 2000 and, uh, uh, you know, uh, 16 uh, regime of the ADMK. So uh, this alleged uh, cash for a uh, job scam took place when he was a transport minister at that time. So this case is being, uh, you know, investigated by enforcement directorate and also by the local police. So since today morning, uh, several locations, around 10 locations are being raided by the ED, uh, both in Chennai and, uh, you know, Karur. Uh, Karur is the Chennai, uh, Central Balaji's native district. So uh, his house and his brother's house in Karur are being raided. In fact, uh, Central Balaji's government, official government's bangla in Chennai, uh, that is also being raided is what we're given to understand. So uh, in fact, this case is also being heard by the Supreme Court. In fact, uh, uh, recently, a month back, uh, this case was, uh, you know, heard by the Supreme Court, the hearing, the continuous hearing is uh, going on. Uh, so at that time, the uh, Supreme Court had uh, given green flags for enforcement directorate and state police to go ahead with the investigation. In fact, uh, Sandal Balaji was challenging uh, these investigations in the Supreme Court and uh, the court had, in fact, uh, given a green flag for uh, both the agencies to go ahead with the investigation. So as part of the investigation, now uh, the ED is riding as the uh, uh, you know, locations both in Chennai and Karur, his native district, and uh, the rights are going on since 7 a.m. in the morning. And uh, the Central Balaji said to officially react on this development, and uh, we'll have to see what, uh, you know, how it is going to pan out. Remember, a month back, around a month back, uh, the income tax had also raided Central Balaji's locations. Uh, you know, almost uh, uh, you know, 40 locations were raided by the income tax officials, you know, a month back. Uh, in fact, ruckus broke out in one of the locations in Karur district. Uh, you know, supporters of Central Balaji, the DMK supporters, uh, they they had vandalized uh, one of the income tax officials' vehicles at the time. So uh, the income tax officials had, uh, you know, gone to uh, the SP, uh, SP office in Karur and they had lost a complaint against uh, these uh, GMK supporters and almost uh, uh, 10 of them were uh, detained uh, post this incident, including a GMK counselor. So uh, the last time the income tax, uh, uh, you know, held a ride in, uh, in Tamil Nadu uh, in relation to Central Balaji, uh, ruckus, uh, ruckus broke out in many locations. Uh, the GMK supporters involved in protests, they also vandalized uh, several vehicles of uh, the income tax officials. So this time the ED is holding the ride and uh, uh, we'll have to see how the law and order angle is going to be as far as the side is concerned too. Well, thank you, Dharani, for getting us all those uh, details. I'm also joined by my colleague, Bhavtosh, uh, to get us more updates. So, well, Bhavtosh, good morning. Uh, please take us through the ED raids that are being carried out. What we're given to understand is that this is in connection uh, to the j alleged job scam. The TN minister's house are being raided. Please take us through the details. Uh, good morning, Samia. As uh, Dharni was telling us that uh, raids and searches started early in the morning at around 7 a.m. Now, what uh, we have gathered uh, from sources in the enforcement directorate is uh, that uh, these searches are in connection with the LS scam that took place when uh, Central Balaji was a minister in the previous government, when the AIA DMK was in power. And uh, they have said that uh, they were, in fact, uh, uh, they had taken cognizance of, uh, of an FIR that was registered by Tamil Nadu police and also a charge sheet that was filed. And uh, being a secondary agency, they had uh, gone through those uh, documents and then only they had filed a case of money laundering. Uh, they had said that prima facie, it appears that there is a case, uh, uh, at, at least an alleged case, against uh, uh, people who were in power. And uh, these uh, 
start uh, in the morning and uh, obviously politics will be played out in this entire matter uh, he is in fact a powerful minister even in this regime he's an electricity uh, minister and uh, they've said that not only in chennai but at least in two three other places these searches are going on now this is not the first time that he is under uh, the news for re uh, wrong, uh, wrong reason uh, law enforcing agencies also carried out searches uh, at uh, people in fact linked to him uh, when the income tax department had carried out raids and searches that was in connection with the misdeclaration of income uh, though it was not directly connected to senthil balaji now enforcement directorate has said that uh, they suspect there is a obvious case of uh, money laundering though officially uh, enforcement directorate has not issued any statement in the searches that started early in the morning maybe uh, in next two or three days when the searches are over and uh, an assessment is done that ed will issue a formal statement in this entire matter Well thank you Bhavtosh for getting us all those details we shall leave it at that for the moment